Hey, I'm Nina, the resident yoga teacher at Book Yoga Retreats. This is a sequence in a series that we designed specifically for beginner yogis. All of these sequences are also made in mind that you may be doing them when you're traveling, so they're for yoga travelers as well. All of the sequences are easy to follow, they're completely accessible, anybody can do them, and they're also made to be done anywhere. So all you need is your yoga mat, uh, two cushions or a big yoga bolster like this and two blocks. So this sequence is for flexibility. A lot of people who start yoga feel that they have to be flexible to start yoga and this isn't true at all. Anybody can start yoga. And one of the issues that I've found um, in the time that I've been teaching that people have around flexibility is that it becomes an area of anxiety or tension and they have preconceived ideas about what a posture should look like, where they should be in their yoga practice and this itself, this, this expectation of themselves and this tension becomes the main prohibiting factor to their flexibility. So I want to invite you at the start of our sequence here together to forget all of that. Forget what you think you should look like or where you should be in your flexibility. I'd also like to remind you that your exhalation is a natural way in which your body relaxes. So as an automatic function, when you breathe out, the muscles in your body relax. So your exhalation is really at the key in finding a sense of flexibleness or deeper stretch in all of your postures. So let's focus on that exhalation. And let's begin in what's called the Sutta Baddha Kumasana. So you'll have your yoga bolster or cushions behind you lengthways on the mat, and then come to place your back just behind the edge of that cushion or bolster. Bring the soles of the feet together and pick up your blocks. Place them underneath the thighs. If your groins are very stiff, you're going to have a few blocks or bolsters or cushions or towels or t-shirts rolled up underneath to make it comfortable. Feel as though you're comfortable and the groins aren't straining. Then exhale, release and relax into the bolster, into the cushion bringing the hands on either side of the body, lifting the elbows up and up as much as you can towards the shoulders. This just opens the chest a little bit more and works more deeply into that back. Then take a moment here to feel the supports underneath you, the floor, the cushions, and the blocks. These are here to support you and guide you. In this moment, completely safe, Secure, and you can relax. Take a deep breath in, fill the lungs with as much air as you can, and begin to exhale. Exhale through the nostrils and exhale like a deep, long decompression from the top of the lungs down to the bottom. And as you do that, feel as though the tension indicator goes down. Take a deep breath in, fill the lungs, breathing in new life and energy. And as you exhale, imagine as though as you decompress, imagine as though you release tension. With that breath, let's do it again. Inhale, breathe in. Fill the lungs, energy, positivity, new life. And then exhale and release tension. Release anxiety, release any preconceived judgments. Inhale, breathe in. Fill the lungs. And exhale, relax. Another two full rounds. Inhale, breathe in. Fill the lungs. Feel the dips. And exhale, release. Let go. And last full round here. Inhale, breathe in. Breathe in as much air as you can. And exhale. Slow, controlled, complete expansion. Decompensate from the top, down to the bottom. And then on the next inhalation, stretch your arms up above your feet. Stretch, that's your luxurious stretch. Stretch, push your bum away from you. Reach up, up into the fingertips. Stretch the whole of the spine. And exhale, release the elbows. Bring the hands on the floor next to you. Inhale, lift the head up. Lift the body up enough to move the bolster or the cushions away from you. Freeing the space behind you. Lift your knees up and move the blocks away from you. And then slowly lower the body again onto the mat using your elbows and lift your legs up. 
Place your feet facing up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees. Open up the hips. Push the tailbone into the mat, the coccyx, to flatten the spine. Bring the feet up and hold on to the outside of the feet with your hands. Now, if that's not possible, you're holding on to the back of the knees or holding on to your calves. So you don't have to reach the feet. Any variation is okay. I'm going to hold on to my feet so long. But if you're holding on to your thighs, that's fine. This is called the happy baby, and it's a lovely, gentle way to open up the hips. So you want to move gently from side to side here, rocking from side to side, and gently opening up in particular around the lower part of the spine. This is also very good for sciatic nerve trouble. Take a few moments, rock from side to side, open the hips. Then steady the body, and on your next exhalation, really draw the knees down on either side of the torso getting those legs slightly closer towards the floor. As you do that, counteract that push with the hands by pushing the coccyx, flattening the coccyx to the mat. But relax your face, relax the jaw. Exhale. On the next inhalation, draw both knees together, hug the back of the legs and hug those legs in towards your belly. Push your coccyx to the floor again. If this feels okay, Hug the outside of the knees too. Inhale, draw the nose to the knees. Make a small ball of the body and then exhale and release. One more time, inhale, drawing all the strength and exhale, release. Release any tension. And then holding onto the right knee, lower the left leg and hug just the right knee in towards the body. Hold on to the top of the knee or if you've had a knee injury before, hold on to the back. Hug that leg in, exhale. On the next inhalation, straighten that leg up and hold on to the back of the thigh. So even if the leg's somewhere over there, that's okay. Even if you're holding on to the side of your shorts and you can't get to the back of the thigh, that's okay. Try to straighten the legs and get a firm grip. Push the foot up towards the ceiling as if you wanted to ninja kick away from you. Now start to push the shoulder blades into the mat as well. Hold in here. If you start to feel good, exhale, open up the elbows and draw that leg closer towards you. And then release your left arm, look towards your left hand and exhale, opening up the right leg. And inhale back towards the center. Exhale, lower that right leg. Inhale, lift up the left leg. Interlock the fingers and hug that leg. Inhale, lift the leg up. Push the foot towards the ceiling, holding onto the back of the thigh, interlocking your fingers, or even holding onto your shorts. We will, we will know the pelvis. Relax the body. Take your time. If you're feeling good, elbows out, opening the chest, flattening the spine to the floor, and drawing that leg close in towards you. Inhale. On the exhalation, release the right arm. Stretch it out away from you and open up the left leg towards the side. Gently coaxing it out towards the side, just opening the hip a little bit further. Inhale back towards the center. Exhale, lower that leg. Inhale, lift both legs up. Hold on to the outside of the feet. Find some momentum, bringing the legs over the hip. And inhale and draw the body up. Coming into the Baddha Konasana. So I'm going to shift to face you, but you will be still be facing the front of your mat. Bring your hands around the top of the feet, push the hips into the floor, relax the shoulders, reach up through the top of the head. The key for the bound angle pose is that you don't focus too much on the knees and the hips, but focus instead on a straight spine. If you feel that you're falling backwards, and this is just a deeply uncomfortable posture, you're somewhere here, the key is to sit on cushion or a few bolsters and give yourself some height around the bum so that you can open up more easily in the hips. So take that variation if you need to. Keep reaching through the top of the head. Take another deep full breath in and then on the exhalation release your feet, guide them forward a little bit in front of you on the mat so that the knees are feeling comfortable. If this hurts your groins, pick up the blocks and place them underneath the thighs to support them. We're going to open up laterally here. Inhale, reach up, arms out on either side. 
and then as you exhale move towards your right hand side bringing your left arm over looking up towards the ceiling on the inside of the left arm exhale close the body snake your way around to the opposite side to your left side inhale opening up looking up towards the ceiling on the inside of the right arm relax your neck relax your head keep pushing your chest forward make sure that you're planting your hips evenly into the mat get that lateral stretch and then exhale close the body reach forward reach forward as far as you can feeling a nice stretch on the back of the neck and the shoulders then place your right elbow on the mat incidentally if the elbow doesn't get to the mat and you're somewhere here that's also fine elbow doesn't have to reach there regardless you're reaching up with the left arm looking up to the ceiling on the inside of the left elbow and then exhale closing so one more time moving around to the other side either lifted or on the elbow if that works for you looking on the inside of the elbow of the opposite elbow the right arm pushing the chest forward equalizing the right hips and then exhale closing enough to come forward to the center relaxing the head taking a moment a deep full breath here nice soft pose and inhale and strengthen up then you're going to move the blocks over to the side there towards your uh, right side and you're going to move your legs out towards the right side too and come up onto your knees now you will need to be facing the side of your mat as i am now as well and we're going to go into the parigasana the gate pose so have your knees hip width apart and inhale and reach up with your hands palms facing downwards and then inhale and kick out with your left leg open up the chest equalize the hips so draw the glutes together and push the hips slightly forward making a lock in the lower part of the body it's very easy to collapse the hips and don't want back inhale open up and exhale lateral stretch again now working into the hip as well and the inside of the thigh open up the chest for go so deeply in the posture relax the face as you exhale, we're moving to the reverse of that. So placing your hand on the block. If you need two blocks, if you need more height, then do so. Don't be afraid to give yourself more height. Placing your hand on the block and then circling your left foot to point away from you, reaching up with the left arm. Looking up towards the ceiling and stretching that left arm up close next to the left ear. Deep, full stretch. Steady. Exhale, close the body, grab, grab the other block now, have two blocks, one in each hand, you can make them nice and high if you need to, you're somewhere here. Push your left foot into the floor, enough to lift up the right foot, coming into a deep hip opening here. Exhale and lower your hips towards the floor. You'll have your hands to support you. Don't, don't strain if you feel that you're still quite high up here. Don't worry where you are. Over time, you're moving closer towards the floor. Opening the chest, back is straight. And then inhale, lift up. And exhale, go to the other side. Taking ease. This is a deep stretch. Deep full breath. And then inhale. We'll do it twice on each side. Exhale, low using the support of the blocks. Inhale, lift up, and exhale and lower. Hold it here. Inhale and lift up. Bring the weight towards the center, hands on the blocks underneath the shoulders. Draw the toes in towards each other, push the heels outwards. Make sure that you have enough space in front of you so that you can relax the spine and start to push your bum backwards coming into a variation on the down dog this variation is very good for those who are stiff around the hips and the hamstrings so with opening the legs out you're making more space for yourself to bend if you need to bend the knees slightly do so exhale relax your head feel the support of the block stretch them forward and relax the head let the head hang forwards. Feel the lift through the hips and the softness around the shoulders. Now a deep full breath. Don't worry if your knees are still bent. Inhale, 
inhale, lift up again. Bring the blocks underneath the shoulders. Draw the belly into the spine. Place the right block in the center of the chest. Inhale, lift up with the left hand. Open the chest towards the side. Exhale, lower with the left hand. Place it in the center of the chest. Inhale, lift up with the right. Stretch through the top of the head as much as you twist. Exhale, low. One more time on each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low. Inhale, and lift. Exhale, low. Then from there, keeping your hands on the blocks, walk your feet in to be hip width apart. Bend your knees and bring them back down towards the center. Now you'll place your blocks on the other side. Knees are hip width apart. Inhale, stretch out. Step out with your left leg. Inhale, open up. As you exhale, come into the gate pose. Lateral stretch, remember to engage the glute. Pushing the hips forward, softening the neck, stretching over. Deep pull breath. Lovely deep lateral stretch. On the next exhalation, stretch over in the reverse Paragasana, pointing the right toes away from you, opening up the chest, right arm over top. Open the chest, push the hips forward. Deep pull breath. Exhale, close the body, pick up your blocks, place them in front of you. This time maybe going a little bit closer to the floor if that works for you. Blocks underneath the shoulders, push the, other, the opposite foot enough into the floor to make space. Exhale and lower. Inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. Inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. One more time. Exhale, starting to move with more ease now into the hips. Exhale, lower. Once you're on this side, you're going to move your blocks towards the side, towards your left foot, lowering the right knee, coming into your Anjana Sana. Deep hip openings. So place the blocks on either side of the foot and keep the hands nice and low. If you're somewhere up here, that's perfectly okay. Use the blocks to support you. Push your hands into the blocks and gently start to trust your hips. So this pose is all about trust. You have the natural weight and the working of gravity to pull and push yourself forward, but you need to trust the hips. Feel the weight as it slides forward, rolling the shoulders back and down, opening the chest and over. Deeper breathing. Inhale, push the block away from you. Straighten that front leg, coming into the Ardha Hanumasana, the half Hanumasana, or, or, or split pose, monkey pose is officially what it's called. Open up the chest and exhale, fold in. If the front leg is not completely straight, that's perfectly okay. You're working towards it. Exhale, fold in. One more time, inhale and lift. And exhale, fold forward over that front knee. Inhale, bringing the weight back towards the front. Pushing your hands into the block enough to kick back and swap the legs over. Relaxing that back, knee, opening the chest, rolling the shoulders back in again, trusting him. One side may also feel more supple than the other and that's very normal, I have the same experience. Trust the hips, feel the weight, the work of the weight as you slide forward. Another deep full breath, opening the chest for me. And then inhale, push your hands into the mat, Straighten the front leg, lift up the foot, and draw the blocks back and up so that you have control in the pose. Leg straight in front of you, inhale and exhale forward. Inhale and lift up, exhale forward. And one more time, inhale, lift up, exhale and forward. Inhale and lift, move the weight back towards the front and then lift that foot back and behind you. Move the blocks back behind you. Pace them close to where the feet are, underneath the feet. So we're going to do a variation on the down dog, which is a great workaround for those people with tight hamstrings. Push your hands into the mat, move the weight backwards, and step with the toes just a little bit in front of the blocks, heels on the blocks. Lift up, 
and allow the knees to bend slightly. So this is a great variation for those of you, particularly runners, and some may also really uh, struggle with very, very tight hamstrings and hips. And this is a great workaround. Keep pushing the hips up towards the ceiling, rather, um, sorry, strengthening around the hands, pushing the weight away from the floor, lifting up. Knees can stay bent. Let's hold it for another two full deep breaths together. And you can integrate this variation on the down dog into any sequence that you need to. Making sure you've got enough space in the posture. On the next exhalation, slowly lower the knees. Coming into the last pose of our, of our sequence, which is going to help you open up your shoulders after that. So place the two blocks in front of you. And if you have very stiff shoulders, remember, get some more height. Bring your weight back towards the bum and then reach forward just enough to bring your elbows on the blocks. Bring your palms together and then start to lift the bum up to give your chest some space. You want to lower the chest to the extent that you feel that the upper arms, the tricep, is flat against the block and you are able to relax your head. So the more you move your knees backwards, the more intensive this becomes. And I tell you, it is such a satisfying stretch for the chest and the upper back. And then when you're in the pose, you can bring your hands back towards the inner part of the upper part of the spine and feel that contact between the thumb and the forefinger on the spine. Bring the forehead to the floor and draw the belly button up to the spine and feel the lovely stretch over the tricep. On the next inhalation, come out of the posture by moving the knees closer towards the box and back into your Varasana seat. Thank you so much for doing yoga with me today. This was a short sequence for flexibility. I hope you enjoyed it. Please connect with us on our social media channels or on our YouTube channel where you can find the rest of the sequences in this series.